Welcome back, everyone. My name is Elton Martin. We're going to be continuing our Let's Play of Bravely Default 2. Where we left off last time, we were in the Chromatite Mines. Getting treasure, exploring, all that stuff. Some of these things are pretty tough to kill, i got to say. These Goldie Lions, Gold Lions, whatever they're called. We can actually, I think, leave whenever we want to. I think maybe we have one more thing to grab here. We have a party chat. What do they want to say? Gladys and Galahad. Galahad really loved his sister, huh? Yeah, it must have hurt him awfully to lose her, especially under such circumstances. We must try not to lose ourselves. Or, sorry. We must try not to let ourselves get too upset, though. Yeah, I don't think Galahad would want that. Seems like he's going to try and get on with his life. We should try and do the same. Seeing the big man break down like that, though. That was... He's so... He's usually so composed. I've never seen him laugh before, let alone cry. But even he couldn't stand firm in the face of losing someone he loved, and you can blame him. At least it's good to know there's a heart in that barrel chest of his. You know, you can cry too, Elvis. Right? Anytime you need to? <laughs> thanks. Might take you up on that one of these days. Just don't get tear stains on my stuff, okay? <laughs> As if I'd even dream of it. Oh, well, that's rather ruined the moment. Still, I think we made some progress. Yeah, and maybe the mood needed lightening a little. Come on. There's more party chats, but I want to find this treasure. What am I even looking for in here? Other than treasures right now. Right, a pink ruby. Apparently it's over this way. It's not what's down there. I see it. I'm going to go around this long way because there might be treasure over here. Or this could be the right way and we're not going to find any treasure. Let's go this way. Oh, I like there's just multiple ways to go. I understand. All right. There's still two treasures, though, and I do want them. I just don't know where. Oh, there's one. And two. There we go. Perfect. This is great. One is a pathogen, and the other one is an assassin dagger, which we have like a hundred of, so I don't know why they keep giving us assassin daggers. Pink ruby obtained. Let's go give him the dagger, or the uh, thing. My mother scolded me most ferociously when she learned that I'd requested that you place yourself in danger on our behalves. Angered, I declared that I would go instead myself when this reduced her to sniveling tears, tearfulness. Once we must not blame her for her motherly ways. All is good now. Thank you, friends. You made us both very happy. Whatever. Here, take your orb. Or give me my orbs. Take your gem. We have so many side quests to do. What do we have left for side quests? I think we just have one. Report back to the guard who was tired of from the Nolux Wop or walloping. Right. We killed the Noxlottles or whatever. And then we can finally move on towards another main quest, I think. We've done enough side quests. We've done so many side quests. There's a treasure there. At some point, I'm going to go around the world and find all of the treasures. And we'll also do a video where we kill all of the um, special things as well. I might just pull up a list of them and just do them all in one video, even the ones that we've already done. Just so we can do them all, sort of like a uh Oh god, I'm drawing a blank on that word. Where am I? Where am I supposed to go with this quest? Oh, I'm supposed to go to Halcyonia. No, let's go to Holograd and take the train there. Um Compilation. We'll do a compilation video of, like, all of the special monsters. The rare monsters around the world. It's like a collaboration? No, that's not it. Sometimes words are hard. Why did a guard in Halcyonia want this done? The Noxlottles were nowhere near the city. Whatever. You did it, and have been a single report of Noxlottles attacking anyone. Thank you so much. By the way, you know how long and black and slimy and generally unpleasant they are? Well, apparently if you baste them and roast them and serve them on rice, they're actually quite delicious. I mean, I haven't had the courage to try one myself, but if you ever had the urge, maybe you could give it a go. I think I'm gonna go ahead and pass on that one, my dude. Now, no more quests in here? Good, we're leaving. Look at that. 
There's still another side quest. <laughs> I don't want to. Let's go pick it up, but we won't do it. We're gonna go do a main quest. No more side questing. Uh, where is that one? Is it this way? It's gotta be this way. And then down. Can't get down the stairs. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Duh. No wonder I can't get down the stairs. If we're gonna pull this thing off, we're gonna need bomb arms and plenty of them. Bomb arms from Inferno Golems or other sources. Oh, we already have them. Okay, so we can just tend it in this quest. Thank you. Now I can let the cat out of the bag. We're gonna use his bomb arms at the annual guards party at the palace. The plan is to plant them in a big cornfield and then boom! Blow enough popcorn to feed an army. It's a great plan, right? It's King Vernon's idea. Apparently he's wanted to do it since he was a little boy. You are gonna get people killed. But fine, whatever, I don't care. Alright, we got Ice Brand number two. Let's get gone. It's time to leave. How do we get to this main quest is a better question. Where do I start? We need the world map. We need to get to there. Is it... It looks like it might be north of Halcyonia. I think we might be in the right place already. Yeah, it's over there. So we gotta go this way, across that bridge. And then north. Alright, let's go. So we go this way. I don't think I've been across this bridge before. What is that thing? Oh, that's the ship that crashed. Right. We did mystery treasures in there. Now let's just leave. I'm not too concerned about whatever is in here. We can always come back later if we want to. It's a cool place though. Let's take a look around later. There's the door. Nope, that's not the right door. The door is this way. Behind the waterfall. Five treasures in this zone. Let's go look around. One treasure. Two remedies. Not a very good treasure. See, that's why I'm not too concerned about missing treasures from time to time, because usually the things like remedies or like potions, sometimes pieces of animals, which sounds weird, but isn't. No treasure that way. Occasionally there's something really cool, like a sword or an armor. But we really haven't upgraded our armor situation in ages. Let's grab this. Sometimes it's just money, although we don't need money at all. Maybe we'll need it later, though. There's always the chance we'll need money at some point. Like some ultimate weapon store or something like that. No treasures up that way. Any treasures over this way? No, this might be the correct direction. It does appear so. Let's go the other way real quick. Ah, uh, maybe not. Hang on. This is definitely just a treasure. I'm glad we didn't go back. An elf cape. That could be good. Eventually we'll go through our accessories and stuff and pick the best ones. I'm just not really sure what the best ones are. Maybe the ones that give us, like, defenses seem to be the best thing. We have quite a bit of offensive power. We need to be able to survive more things. Not that we're having much trouble with that, just in some of the more recent fights against like the rarer monsters, they uh, they do a bunch of damage, and I'm worried. Maybe worried's the wrong word. I'm slightly concerned that we're gonna get turned into pudding later in the game by some of the tougher monsters. I'm gonna guess that this game, like the Final Fantasy games, is gonna have optional bosses that are way tougher than normal. So I am a little bit concerned about those. I kind of want to make sure that we're ready for them, and uh, that we can take them on. Mm, nothing over there. There's a chest up there. Okay, so, last chest is right here, over here. Now we can leave. 
A moonbeam shield. Sounds fancy and weird. I don't know why I'm going this way. There's definitely no treasures this way. Oh, I guess we had to go around? I think we might still be on to the right directions. So this is a very long, mazy mine. And there we go. We're heading into Musa for the first time in ages. Well, we've never been to Musa, but... This is the path Sir Sloane and I used when we fled to Halcyonia. It feels like only yesterday. But so much has happened since then. Yeah, things have been going crazy. Well, now you get to go home at last. Yes. I hope that Sir Sloane is watching over us. I'm sure he is. Alright, zero treasures on this map, apparently. Let's go to the top of the mountain and take a look at what Musa looks like. Oh, it's just like a... just one mountain city? That's all there is here? It's not a city, it's four buildings and like a... The once bright realm of Musa. Maybe it's like... Oh, I see, there's more buildings out in the horizon there. Crikey. This is... I mean, it's... Welcome to Musa. I am afraid there is no one left to greet us, or to provide the hospitality for which we were so famous. Still, I at least am very happy that you are here. <sighs> no one survived the attack. I am the only one who remains. But I will not let the same destruction be visited upon other kingdoms. I will not let our world be destroyed. All is not yet lost. As long as we have the crystals, there is always hope. Sure, sure. Let us be on our way. Okay, let's take a look around at this little city. Well, there's a caravan guy here, so at least someone made it. There's one treasure somewhere. I mean, let's be clear, this is not much of a kingdom, to be honest. I mean, there is some buildings down there we can see. If we look over the horizon, there's at least one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, maybe like eleven buildings? It's a pretty small kingdom, though, to be honest. Alright, let's go into the main building, I guess. There's a treasure in here. And a staircase down. Falcon knife. Alright, let's see what's down here. Oh, I was like, I spotted something glowing on that's my that's the uh, boat thing. I mean this is a pretty cool looking place, I gotta say. What am I doing in here? What's my goal? Let's do all these party chats. Vernon the Lionheart. Tell me a little about King Vernon, Gloria. His Majesty? Well, for one thing, he's a warrior of great skill, famed for his courage on the battlefield. There was a time a few years ago when a gang of bandits appeared in Halcyonia. He took up a sword and set straight out to face them himself. All 30 of them. 30, whoa. That's what you look for in a leader, eh? Someone who's not afraid to put their life on the line and lead from the front. I can just imagine it, you know? Old Vernon headed out to save his kingdom single-handed. I'll bet he'd do exactly the same if it happened again today. He's not a guy you'd want to mess with. You can tell he's a bit handy, eh? Well, I can tell, all right. Call it a mercenary's intuition. You learn to size people up pretty quickly in this job. Aye, and Sir Sloane must have had seen something in him, too, eh? Guess you warrior types really can sniff each other out. Yes, more party chats. Old comrades. Sir Sloane sure knew a lot of people. Guess it comes with being a famous warrior. Heard that he traveled far and wide as a younger man in search to find worthy opponents. In fact, it was on his travels that he met my grandfather, and it seems his mercenary associates continued to visit him long after he came to Musa. You think Lonsdale was one of them? It's certainly possible. He often spoke of one whom he had never quite managed to best, an old comrade of long standing. Knowing what we know now, I would strongly suspect it was him. An old comrade, eh? Ah, they probably have seen a few things together as hired swords. You need people you can trust. 
Yeah, people you can trust with your life, and who put their or trust you with theirs in return. You think things would maybe have turned out differently if the, in the fight against Holograd if Sir Sloan was still around? What, like Lonsdale would have switched sides or something? Aye, it does sound unlikely now that you say it out loud. Shame, would have been amazing to see the two of them fighting together. We have a lot of these we didn't do. Count on us! How do you think Glory is doing? If you ask me, she's pushing herself way too hard, but she keeps saying she's fine, but... I can't imagine what it must be like for her. It was hard enough for me seeing what's become of Musa. I mean, it's her home. She grew up here. She puts on a brave face, I know, but it's going to be taking its toll. She's one tough cookie, but that makes her all makes it all the easier her, for her to push herself too far. Yeah, and she's never going to stop putting others first, which means I have to. Oh, I lost the eye. You, we're in this together. Yeah, she's our friend too, you know. Aye, right, so you can count on us to help keep her spirits up, right? Yeah, just don't get too carried away with things, okay? Elvis, you'll only make it worse. <laughs> yeah, seconded. Is that a smile I see? That's the spirit, laddie. More of that's what's needed. After all, you'll not be helping Gloria by any moping or any by moping around the place with a face like a wet weekend. Guess you're right. Thanks, guys. I feel a little better. A little better now. Let's go look around more. There's a bunch of treasures in here, apparently. Five, to be specific. There's one over there. Healing bloom, not particularly useful, but that's okay. Try and dodge the many, many monsters that are wandering around now. That's where we came in. Was there a treasure over here on this side? I know we didn't. Oh, we checked. Okay, there's nothing there. Got it. And I'm gonna just try and sneak around enemies. We went that way. Let's go this way. Try and dodge the horsies. Excuse me, everyone. I'm trying to get through here. Uh, let's go this way. There might be something over there to the left. Uh, don't attack me. This might also be inadvertently the right way. No, there's a treasure here. Good. Tengu sneezes. I want, like, good items. Yes, you can use Tengu sneezes to create effect, I know. But there's a treasure up there. It's blurry because we have this, like... What's it called? Uh, not shift focus, but um, something shift. Oh, maybe it wasn't a treasure. It kind of looked like one. Oh, well. Let's look around more. Goulash. Gross. I mean, actually, that's not true. Goulash? A good goulash is really good. But a bad goulash is really bad. And there's not a lot of middle ground. At least not that I've experienced. Wonder where these other two treasures are. Over here, perhaps? Nothing over here. Damn it, horses, stop spawning near me. I'm trying to search around for treasure. There's one. One treasure remaining. Oh, one nasty surprise. Come and get it. Unicron y. They're not that tough, but they are tougher than I expected. 5,000 hit points. I wonder if these new weapons we got, like these assassin's daggers and stuff, are better than our rune sword stuff. Like, what about this giant axe? It's pretty good. What about... Karn Wellen's not... Oh, assassin daggers are down there. They're less than even the falcon knife. Although... We would only be losing a bit. But our crit chance would go way up. Yeah, I'm going to switch to that one. We have a million rune blades. What about... That spear is better. Okay. And uh, how about a bow? Do we, have a, we do have a good bow. Apollo's bow. There we go. I mean, they're all sea weapons anyways, I think. Yeah, everything's a sea weapon for the freelancer, so... It doesn't really matter what type of weapon we equipped. It only matters what the stats are. Now, where's this last treasure chest? It's gotta be around somewhere. 
trying to hug the walls and stuff to see if I can locate it as we go through. Although, it's not super... Is that it? That's it over there, isn't it? How do I get there? I need to be on the other side. Okay, so let's go this way. Don't run into me. Okay, and over here. Over here, we need to go down into that next row. I think this is the right way. Yeah, we're good. This is the correct path. And we got... X potions. Oh boy. I'm glad about that. Also, we probably have a ton of buns to eat now that I think about this. Oh, well, let's take, take a look at our new weapons, I guess. Not bad. Bow. Did you just hit him with the bow? Apparently, half damage from spears on the rat things. But this is fine, doesn't matter. Let's go all the way back around. Get back to the entrance, not the entrance, the exit. And see where we're supposed to go next. Excuse me, wizard. Don't run into me, please. I am trying desperately not to fight you because I don't really care. Saving the game, just in case. You never know. Okay, there's a, definitely a weird looking thing here. What is that? <laughs> this will be a piece of cake. That's a terrifying thing. What is that thing? Okay, let's examine and then we'll uh, body slam him. 100,000 hit points. Does no one have a special? I don't want a special when he's already defaulting. Did a little damage. He didn't even say anything, he just attacked us. 12,520 damage. That's pretty good. He's still defaulting, which is annoying. So that was with default on. But I wanted to get the buff up. He has a lot of attacks, but they're not very powerful attacks. Just gonna go ahead and finish him off here. Okay, that's Sir has gone. Flare hatchet. Cool. What are we supposed to do here? It said to place something. Am I placing the crystals here? Heed my call once more. You who have suffered through so much. Oh, I don't know if I've suffered. No more than any of the others, anyhow. And when things got tough, we all helped one another. And it wasn't just my friends who helped me. We met so many people along the way. People who were prepared to fight for what's right. People who had the courage to make a stand, instead of just accepting their fate. Just as you once refused to accept yours when offered the choice. You do not regret that choice? Not for a second. If I helped even one person, that means I did the right thing. One person, a thousand, it doesn't matter. It was all worth it. And even if it was hard sometimes, plenty of people have had it much harder than me. If I've made one step on the road easier for them, I'm happy. I don't regret a thing. Then let us pray that hope awaits at the road's end. 
You were offered a choice. A new destiny. And you accepted the challenge willingly. Do not falter now. Oh, don't worry. I'm in this to the bitter end. So we'd put all the crystals back, I'm guessing? Oh, I guess it teleports us right out. Nice, that is convenient. One of the crystals is done. Alright, I guess we can work on the second one. We got some time left. Are they color coded? Yep, this is definitely the fire crystal. You can tell by the very, very red color scheme. There's three treasures in here somewhere. I guess we just randomly go through these until we find something where we're supposed to be. Did we arrive back at the beginning? I think we did. We've come full circle. Oh, we came... This is where we're supposed to be. Well, I don't want to be here yet. There's treasures and stuff I want to grab. Maybe we go this way. Where does this lead us? Oh, we can't. Some of them are entry and some of them are exits. Okay. Let's try this again. Maybe we just missed the treasures. Because we weren't... Oh, go away, rats. Here I go. Okay, we gotta go through one of these. Let's go through this one. Just gotta be very careful about looking for treasures, I guess. We can't go back through these, right? No. Back at the beginning again. How are we supposed to get to the treasures? If it's all just one direction. I might play around with this one a little bit and then figure out how to get the treasures and then I'll show you guys and then we'll go fight the boss. Who looks like Ifrit, kind of. Alright, but for now I'll leave you here. Like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Take care.